At last, we are on the final chapters of the next grind. I only have Torva legs to get for next, for full Torva and full next completion. The goal is to finish next before race 3 in August and have some time to use Torva and get familiar with it before the next big grind. So I have killed 3000 next so far and before the content rolls, I want to fill you guys in on some important statistics regarding this grind so you guys can get a good idea of how crazy of a grind it's been. So next drops are seen typically 1 in 42 kills. Now it seems like a small number, but keep in mind that seeing a drop is not the same as getting a drop yourself. So if you did a really easy next method, such as doing a mass method with 20 people, it's more like 800 mass kills for you to get a drop. It's a lot faster in small teams, but yes, it is harder and will cost more supplies. Personally, my typical next kills are around 4 man sized teams, which means my chance of getting a drop is around 1 in 160 kills. So next works similar to Raid 1 for example, in which team members get points for contributing to the fight, out of a fixed pie basically. But unfortunately, you cannot see the points as it's hidden, but there is still a way to get an idea, a really good idea, of how much overall contribution of points you have gotten at next lifetime wise. The hill shards are a really close approximation to your overall point value. Kill count is reliable. It's around 400 in the hill shards on average per next drop. It's around 4 to 5k shards to get most next drops. Also supply costs will vary a crazy amount so I'm not going to talk about it too much due to teams having so many variables. But for me it's cost me about 3000 of my own bruise and restore so far. Personally, it's around 8 kills an hour at this point in a 4-man team for me, and 2400 of those kills have been 4-man averages. So far, I've spent at a bare minimum 300 hours here, and it's probably more like 400 since kills were slower at the start, and not even counting the time it takes to KC up every time and also supply prep time. With that in mind, enjoy today's next centric episode full of loot and insane total loot from 3k next kills. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you don't want to miss the finale of the next arc, Fire and Bar, and coming race 3. 180 mil range XP, okay. Whoa, you actually broke your dry streak. Let's go. <laughs> Torva play body, okay, let's go. There you go. What? Oh no, oh no. So funny story with this clip, I was teaching my friend some necks, but I wasn't going with my usual people. So I went with the, some random people from their friends chats, like players chat. But I said, Fuck it, I'll just drop trade this and uh, sell it and split everybody else, you know, an equal amount. I'm just gonna give them some fee for carrying my friend, I guess. <laughs> Yo, 180 mil range, oh my god. Nice. That works. Oh, damn! Let's go! Whoa, huge! Huge for Yellow Man on his Iron Man. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh my god, no way. Speaking of the plate legs. No, he already has it. <laughs> Man already has the legs. Oh, why? Well, at least I can do three massive boosts though. Oh, that's 2500. Oh my god, imagine dude, 2500, I get the legs. Holy shit. Damn, dude, that would have been sick, but it just wasn't meant to be, you know? Oh my god, we just got another Van Braces. <laughs> Money for the boys. I just broke my dry streak though. Lol, we, we just broke like what? Like a. Uh... 300 dry streak or something of small kills how much cash apparently it's 200 mil so that'd be like 50 mil each holy shit i had it 61 oh three kill trio man with four brews crazy holy bad drop dude 2600 kc Yo, 2600. Holy numbers. Big numbers, guys. 70 mil XP? Oh shit, I didn't even realize. Shout out Twitch chat for uh, telling me. Mm, speaking of blood fear, let me add some more. 
Mm, let me just add these. I haven't gone any more in like two or three weeks. So now we're back at 23k. Hopefully this will be enough to get the likes. If not, we can get some more later. No, why would you drop those Torva legs? Internet safety and privacy are evolving fast, and it's important for everyone to keep their security and privacy up to date. NordVPN is designed to grant users a modern level of online privacy and safety by masking your IP address and letting you access the internet from various locations in the world. NordVPN is one of the best VPNs in the market because they have fast connection speeds and as many as 60 locations around the world for you to access the internet from. It's as simple as a few clicks to use Nord. Do you suffer from massive lag when playing RuneScape or just inability to play because of your region? Well, with NordVPN, there's a high chance you could probably reduce your lag by connecting to different servers or bypass region restrictions like China's Great Firewall, which I've done before. There is amazing deals for the summer right now, such as the two-year plan in which you can save 63% off Give it a try as there is a 30 day money back guaranteed, so you have nothing to lose. Remember to use my affiliate link, nordvpn.com slash ricecup in the description for this amazing offer. Thanks for listening guys, back to the video. <gasps> oh, is that good? <laughs> Yo, is that new? New item? Why? Oh wait, you already have that. Uh... Oh, there it is, 2700KC, that's 2100 average of like 4 people team sizes. Damn. Crazy. 4.7k shards, pretty much average uh, to complete everything. I'm not sure where the health stands, it might be a little higher. This is bad, we're, uh, we're under a thousand giant arrows now, so... It's crazy, I didn't, I didn't think I'd ever see the day that, that I'm gonna run out of giant arrows, because I hadn't been using them much. Now that I've been grinding next for months, the D arrow has tanked. Oh my god, holy shit. I haven't seen a drop in a bit. So that's uh that's some good money. I need to save some D arrows for emergency. <laughs> uh damn. Gotta use amethyst arrows from now on next. Now we can bloodshot. Oh, oh shit, bloodshot. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Yeah, I want to brush my teeth. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. Let's go. I got I got another two. Okay, we're good. We're caught up on blood sharks again. Oh shit. Yo. Yo, nice, nice. The hill horn. Oh my god, no way, dude! Oh, la, la. that would have been sick. He already has it too, that's the worst part. That's like his third one, oh my god. Some people are just destined to have too many of that one thing. For me, it's bodies, I guess. And hilts. And it's not legs. Legs is not what I'm destined to get, I guess. Whoa, you just got the pet, dude. Holy shit. Well, I mean, it was worth it for you. This guy literally asked what the pet rate was today. And it looks like uh, you don't need to know because you already got it. What the hell if I randomly die fell asleep on my chair? Oh, wow. 190 mil range XP. She's 10 mil more for 200. And then I can't gain any more range XP. It's going to be really weird. I'm pretty much ready to leave this place after, you know, already doing enough to get like five, five and a half K shards. Not gonna lie. Wow, look at this. 3000 KC. It's a pretty nice number, but again, it's, you know, very misleading at times, but uh, this is more like it since 2400 of these are very small teams. So here is the total loot of 3,000 next kills and a little more. As you can see, there's an extra horn in there. But 600 of these kills aren't in this log, but those were all masses on day one and I didn't get anything relevant, so it doesn't matter. So this is pretty reasonable with the amount of shards I've gotten. So Torva bodies, four of them definitely is a bit over what I normally would get, but also is the ancient hilts. 
The Ancient Hills, I'm probably only supposed to have one. Pretty average for the amount of contribution. But that's 3.6 bill. And I think I spent around 400 hours so far. So I'd say it's around 9 an hour for me. It's probably over 10 mil plus an hour for me if you don't include the prep stuff. And that's what the math guys kind of figured. It was over 10 mil plus an hour if you just calculated the time for the kill. So we're spot on. So hopefully this inspires you to maybe grind some necks or satisfy your curiosity. Because this is definitely one of the most profitable bosses at the moment. Especially if you split. As for my Ironman viewers, this grind is definitely very optional. Uh, definitely get most of your important stuff done like raids 1 or whatever. But uh, yeah, if you come here, be careful. You might be here for a long ass time like me. I'll quickly mention some of the miscellaneous drops that are really good for me. So Dragon Bolt's really good for actually using a Nex. A lot of Onyx Bolts, which is GP. So the Prayer Pots, Brews, and Restores I got from Nex, I pretty much use them all just to stay inside longer. So those are all gone. Blood Runes are nice. And Cannonball's really good uh, for Slayer tasks and stuff like that. So I'm going to really love that. Uh, it's good to have a stock again after the boss giant grind from a while ago. So I got 900 MVPs based on the bones, but it didn't change the drops much as you can see. It still averaged. And I got 54 blood essence. There are 1,000 blood runes each, so when I runecraft, I get an extra 54k. Alrighty. Nice. We made 3,000 giant ruby bolts. I took 2,500 away out of my... Unfinished. Oh, I still have 17k left overall. Crazy, crazy. Oh shit, 40 million cooking. Oh shit. So now that the clan activity keeps track of like XP milestones, it's kind of cool to see uh, all these crazy XP milestones I've gotten this count. Reminds me of like when I used to watch Alkin's old ass videos where he just do scaling all day long. Just play, hey, it's 40 bill flinching, it's 50 bill flinching, you know? Bitches, something like that. Actually, let me open these. Might get like dragon arrows. That'd be nice. Oh, I did! Yay! Come on. More? Come on, give me more. Ah. Alright, so I'm using my case girl a lot, and I actually have two. Having only one on me is kind of annoying because sometimes uh, I forget to repair it and it gets too low. So I'm gonna break down this set here. This guy. Ah, there we go. There we go. We have two case girls to use. Save a lot of time. Holy snape grass, 149? And I'm still, I, what? And I still have another patch to clear. How much have y'all gone from a, a patch or two? <laughs> so if you haven't already noticed, Nex burns through supplies like crazy, especially the potions. So I've gone through probably close to 3,000 of my own brews and restores, uh, which means it would be the equivalent of a bit over 300 toll flags and 300 snapdrans. Luckily for me, I still have a bunch of Snapdragons, a few hundred, because Moss Giants from way back in the day, 90,000 of them, gave me a lot. But it doesn't give me Toll Flags. So Toll Flags is definitely at a lower end. I only have like 90 left. So that's like less than a thousand brews. So I do need to upkeep my Toll Flags. How am I going to do that? There's a few ways, but honestly, the way that I enjoyed, I would say uh, what I want to do is just to AFK Diagonauts. I remember AFKing Diagonauts and getting a bunch of Toll Flag Seeds and... Just through Slayer, you can tell they drop a lot. So I'm just going to go to the Catacombs and AFK there. It should be pretty easy. It's super low effort, so it's the perfect strat for me. I'll collect a bunch of Toe Flags this way. Uh, I used to kill these guys uh, way back in the day. Funny story, like in 2000, probably like 6. I used to just kill Dagonauts in the lighthouse. One of my friend's friends who was like, kind of like my gamer grandma, she would farm the seeds that I get from here. And give me the potions. So yeah, I remember I remember Dagonauts just give so much toe flex. So yeah, this brings back memories. Kind of like, you know, we're doing it again, except this time it's for the Iron Man. Hmm, apparently I've already AFK'd 500 Dagonauts. Um, but the rewards are pretty good. It didn't take too long to AFK here. I haven't even left the bank. So just one trip. Uh, I'm leaving now. Very easy with the Bone Crusher Necklace, pretty melee, and then when you run out, you just use some hard food. I use Mantis with DBA, self-sustaining. You stay there for uh, like over an hour or two, no problem. Um, the loot is really solid though, look at this. 12 Toll Flags and uh, 5 Snapdragons. I think the Snapdragon might be lucky, but Toll Flags though, they're not that rare, so it's really good. I missed it, but it's only about fishing. Getting all the anglers for the bouncing. 
Oh, what happened? Oh, yo, let's go! The boy said, Grats. Let's go, Bloodshard! Alright, okay. Another 2400 Dragon Ruby builds 3k. Um, yeah, hopefully that's enough to get the likes. Also, let's uh, show you what I got for Dragon Bolts left. So, I, I'm getting positive. I'm getting extra back from next, so yeah. That's good to know. Uh, unlike Dragon Arrows, which just goes down and down and down. Well, Dragon Bolts actually kind of goes up or stays very much the same. So, that's good to know. So, we gotta spam that a bit more anyway, so. We should be okay, you know. We're gonna have to start using Amethyst Arrows soon though for the minions, but it's alright. Oh wait, what? I gained 15 mil Hunter? Oh, I didn't even see that. Someone's like, grasping me. Ooh. Oh well, I just got 55 mil uh, defense XP. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, compared to my other stats, melee combat-wise, defense one of the lowest. Uh, I guess attack being second lowest. How many toe flex am I at now? Ooh, 149. Let's go. Just AF King Dags when I'm uh, good on the blood shards. And it's working out good. I'm getting a lot of toe flex back. I think I've gotten like over 50 back since just coming back. So just going to keep on stocking up more. Probably need more brutes for race 3 too. So I got to do a bit of mole for two reasons. Uh, first reason long term is to get the pets. And second reason is for, of course secondaries to make brews. I just cannot be asked doing burr house runs so often or uh, check my kingdom so often that I can upkeep it alone using those two. So yeah, I got to do some occasional mole to bolster the brews. And uh, yeah, our crossbow is actually really good here as well because mole digs a lot at times. So these are crossbow special attack uh, dragon diamond bolts really just nails that last hit that it I need to kill the boss, so it really saves a quite a bit of time. And yeah, it's been fun to use here. But otherwise, yeah, just cannon T-bow on a safe spot at the start of the spawn works really well most of the time. But when it does run away, the Zarya crossbow spec is really good, especially with the spec recharge spell from say Asbel Book. Here's a cool milestone for Jam Mo, 1000 KC. What's the pet rate again? Like 1 in 3k? So we're getting there, or is it 1 in 2k? Either way, we're getting closer. Slowly. Yes. Okay. Alright, Twitch chat made me do this quest, finally. Although there's one other quest that I haven't done. The Goblin quest. Yep, just gotta do this one eventually, and I can uh, use my music cape again for Clue Scrolls. But I'll make Twitch chat force me to do that another time. Alright guys, here is some next tips and tricks, and also some really cool action uh, shots that I took while grinding all the way to 3000 KC from wherever the last video's next part was left off. My boy here brought a, a Phoenix necklace or in case uh, P2 shadow phase doesn't go proper and, and he can survive the shadow attacks. I, f I think I should bring some too. I, I kind of miss bringing using Phoenix necklaces. I used to use a bunch for Nightmare before Fosani was a thing. Watch this. Proc the Phoenix Necklace, get some HP back. But probably not the best time to do it then. Cause... Oh, actually, no, it's okay. I can't use the altar for a while. So Phoenix Necklace is a bit trickier to use, but it heals more than the hard food, and I don't go on cooldown, so I can just keep attacking as normal, saving more DPS. Ooh, that's sick. So what I just did there, I used the Ruby Bolt spec from the crossbow to proc my HP lower and then put on the Phoenix Necklace. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Phoenix Necklace, thank you so much for saving my ass. Some trips go really, really well in the sense that we're just killing the boss pretty fast so we're not taking too much damage, relatively speaking. And we also get a bunch of food drops, so in those kind of cases we end up doing four or five kill trips at times and the secret for me to keep my boost going the whole time is that i split my boosting potions appropriately if i see that it's going to be a long trip so for example 
Uh, if it's like three kill trip already, I'll probably just range only. So use range potion and I'll leave the combat potion for last minute emergency if there's another kill coming up that we're going to do this trip. Because it works really well, I can range only and still do really good. And I can just focus more on melee next kill if I have to. So that way I'm always spotted. So I've hinted that Spiritual Mages drop really good stuff like the Astro Rinse, but they also drop really good herbs like Torsto, Stamp Dry, and Ranar Weed, which are all used to make important potions like uh, Super Swords and Super Combat. So I took a page from my friend Gozu. He brings a herb sack for casing, and I'm doing the same. It's super worth it. I think I've gone like 100 plus of each herbs ever since I started bringing it. So a really interesting thing about Ice Phase is that both the Contain and Ice Prison, if you were to take damage from it, if you had Prey Range on right before the damage hits you, you take significantly less damage. My friend was bored, so he brought full Justiciar, and he was wondering if Praying Range and also having Justiciar would reduce the damage even further, and it turns out it does. It only hit him a 25, whereas usually it'd be like 30 or 40 or 50. Good thing I uh, I pray range there. It actually does reduce the damage on the contain a bit. Her transition point is 2040, so if she's like 2080, just debuff the boss. Because you're not going to hit the 110 and you waste HP on the ruby proccing. Same for the other transitions too. Alright, I guess I'm tanking for the boys. You see how this boss is hitting me right now, but it's not hitting the rest? That's because she doesn't even notice them. And she's targeting either one of us, so... That means you can save some hits for your teammates. If you know you're gonna get frozen, just make sure you stand at least one tile away from your friend so he can easily save you. Yeah, so right now the Major's attacking one of us. And normally I would get mobs, but I'm going in and out right as she attacks somebody else. Ooh, that's crazy timing there. I managed to squeeze in the ghost too. When you get good at knowing when next will switch targets or when she uses a special which stops her from hitting you, allowing you to use the altar which you can use to time super clutch full heals like this. Nice. Oh yeah, good shit. It's always worth to actively stall her and try to push her back to the middle before P2 starts because it'll make your life so much easier. Definitely recommend stalling her in every phase just by going under for a bit. Ooh, nice. Dude, that was clean, bro. That was lit. Holy rubies, we are lucky. That, that helps so much when uh, the rubies... Oh, three in a row, let's go. This is the second time that's happened. Three in a row, let's go. Holy crap, this phase is so quick now. That's how you do it, bro. The redemption, baby. Oh, no. Oh. Shit. Ooh, hold on. Go back to the middle. Holy shit, that was crazy. I don't think I'm going to get the heal back from this. Oh, I am. Ooh, I healed and KO'd the boss with the Zara's God Sword. I'm going to make her jump. Yes, that was good. I, I knew that she would fly towards me, so I lure her to the middle. I'm not even going to range pot. I'm just going to wait. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't range pot. Because I knew the cough was coming, so... <laughs> Ooh, damn. That was a <laughs> that was a funny ass misclick. Oh, that was a good dodge. I had a feeling good old smoke was going to happen and uh, yeah, I just moved away just in case. Okay. How many more hits? Holy damage. That was so fast. <laughs> oh, that pushback. You see that, boys? That's how you do it, baby. No! Dang it. Uh, 
Wait, I think I should be alive, I think. Yes! <laughs> that gives me 1 HP back. Ooh, nice. The 12 of play bodies tanking right now. Dang, I missed. That is sad. Oh, well, the rubies are going hard right now. Three in a row. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was crazy. Like, literally in a row, too. Like, I love how Ring of the Gods is gigantic in the bank, bro. And then you have Ring of Endurance, the most expensive ring in the entire game. Double the price of uh, Ring of the Gods. And it's puny. Look at this thing. It's so cute.